2021 Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid Review, Unplug and Play. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. The 2021 Chrysler Pacifica is better than it's ever been. A more aggressive face, some fresh wheel options, and revisions to the front and rear lighting improve the exterior, while upgraded leather and a more stylish center console help refine the cabin. But it's not just new styling that makes the Pacifica more of a solid option for 2021. A brand new Uconnect infotainment system adorns the dash, and it's probably our favorite upgrade of the lot. Plus, more standard active safety means Chrysler's minivan can compete with alternatives from Toyota and Honda out of the box. All of these updated elements combine to make the already great Pacifica even better for 2021. The former Pacifica looked sort of fussy to our eye, but the 2021 model gets much cleaner styling. Slim LED headlights with halo-like accents and a sharp, six-sided grille adorn the front fascia, with a cleaner bumper design and better integrated fog lights just below that. And gone are last year's split tail lights, replaced by a sleeker full-width light bar. Plus, every Pacifica trim gets new wheels for 2021 Our car wears 18-inch aluminum shoes as part of the $795S appearance package, which also includes a gloss black grille surround and corresponding black badges. Chrysler carefully redesigned the cabin of the 2021 Pacifica as well. Most notably, tweaks to the center console now create a seamless flow into the dash, wrapping around a 10.1-inch embedded touchscreen. Nicer finishes, like lacquered wood, are available on higher trim levels like the luxurious Pinnacle model. But our limited model with the S appearance pack gets gloss black finishes instead, which we're less fond of because of how quickly they accumulate fingerprints. But the S package does add black Nappa leather seats with a black faux leather dash, both with contrast white stitching that helps the cabin look and feel very high quality. The Pacifica scores a perfect 10 in this category for a number of reasons, but most of the credit goes to its exceptional ride quality. Even with 18-inch wheels, versus the standard 17-inchers, the Pacifica has a very smooth on-road demeanor, absorbing bumps and imperfections without so much as a shrug. For as comfortable as the Pacifica is around town, it's even better on the highway, combining a super smooth ride quality with sublime sound deadening. The cabin is so well insulated that it only takes a whisper to speak with the front passenger. Nappa leather comes standard on the limited model and above, with the S appearance package adding black leather with white accent stitching that we like. The front seats are soft and relatively supportive. Bolstering could be better, but then again, this is a minivan, and there's lots of room, as you'd expect. The 40.1 inches of front headroom and 41.1 inches of front legroom are slightly better than both the Toyota Sienna and the Honda Odyssey. The second row captain's chairs are solid, with the same comfortable and high-quality Nappa leather as the front buckets. But when Toyota now offers a full recline and leg rest option on its captain's chairs, it's hard to say the Pacifica's seats are as good. That said, the Pacifica has more headroom, 39.6 inches, and legroom, 39.0 inches, than the Sienna, with only the Odyssey offering more foot space, 40.9 inches. Third row access is relatively easy thanks to a shoulder-mounted pull tab that folds the chairs forward, although the Sienna's one push button is still a better solution.
for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.